Hi, my name is Tracy Morgan, and I'll be your accounting teacher for this three-minute accounting lesson. I'll be walking you through some general concepts in accounting over the next few videos. This video should be helpful for you if you're a high school student who just ran out of time and you don't have time to read your textbook, or if you're a medical doctor or a chemical engineer and you've decided, hey, I think I want to go get my MBA. And so you just want to learn a few accounting concepts very quickly so you won't be lost that first day of class. I've taught both of those types of students in my class, and so I hope this will be helpful for you. I want you to approach learning accounting as if you would a foreign language. That means that you would start off with the alphabet and then you would learn a few short phrases that would get you through the airport at any given time. So the first thing we're going to learn are the five account types. And I've created a Word document to show you some of these basic account types here. Now the way we're going to memorize this is through the acronym ALORE, A-L-O-R-E. You have to learn these account types before we learn financial statements, debits and credits, and journal entries. If you have an accounting textbook, you'll want to read what the publisher says about these account types, especially if you're going to be tested on that information. Now, A stands for asset, and assets are resources that you own. L stands for liabilities. Liability is something that you owe. It's the creditor's right to your business. O is owner's equity. The capital account is going to keep up with the owner's ownership in the business, if you will. And the drawing account is going to keep up with when the owner takes out money. There are only two accounts in the owner's equity category. That's why I went ahead and listed those here. Now, you might be asking, where is stockholder's equity? Well, that's a great question, and that is an equity ac account, but stockholder's equity is when the company is owned by stockholders, and that would be a corporation. So we will talk about stockholders' equity later on. R stands for revenue. Revenue accounts represent money that you earn. E or expense accounts, the cost of doing business, monthly cost. Examples of assets are cash, equipment, and land. Examples of liability accounts or accounts payable or wages payable. Keyword there might be payable. Revenue accounts would be fees earned and sales revenue, and examples of expenses would be wages expense, rent expense, and you'll always see that word expense in there. Once you've learned these five account types, you'll be ready to learn about financial statements. 